Hello everybody, welcome back, Pike of a Year. Yes, let's talk yield on your Bitcoin. Let's see uh, how we um, look at this subject. Um, it's a... Uh, I, I watched the interview Michael Saylor had with uh, Safe Dean Amos and it was amazing to watch uh, but it was painful to watch at the end uh, in the last segment segment in the last couple segments of the interview where Saylor think it's completely safe to uh lend your uh, Bitcoin to JP Morgan and to get yield from it. It's like, to me, that's that's crazy, first of all, because JP Morgan is not a, uh, it's, it's not going to give you risk-free um, uh, yield against your Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin is a thing of value here because Bitcoin is the only thing they cannot print more of. JP Morgan can create an infinite amount of money out of thin air um, to pay uh, its obligations and to pay uh, interest or whatever uh, to give loan to people Right, give money to people to buy a house and buy in fact when you get let's say when you go to the bank you get a, a loan right so that loan you get from the bank like a mortgage buy a house this was created out of nothing they don't they ju- they don't have to uh, prove anything they don't have to do any work to create that money they give you right so this of course contribute to higher prices or or the basement of the currency uh, because there's more of that money going in the economy right it contribute to the debasement so this the bank create make if inflation themselves right not just the federal government the bank create inflation but not only that you have uh, the bank right most of the banks are insolvent they have zero reserve requirement right it used to be you have to have a certain percentage of the reserve requirement to have uh, right right now they have no requirement zero so when you have a zero reserve requirement so you you can basically create an infinite amount of loan and an infinite amount of mortgages right give that away for free and then you just collect interest right it's like the bank can just we give the bank value we give them our soul when you go get a mortgage right you sign off you sign your life away for 30 years um that's what gives the bank value the th- the bank doesn't have value it's the fact that we agree to pay them interest back on the money they create out of nothing that gives the bank value is the loan the mortgages right the the interest rate game the yield game uh they play but they don't really have any relevant value what does it stop? Why is it stop in Bitcoin? Because Bitcoin, uh, the Bitcoin is the thing, it's the value itself. I, I just don't understand when somebody's getting 35 to 45% increase a year on their money, they're going to chase a 2% more, an extra 2%. I don't get that. It's, a, it's not even like. They're not gonna be able to pay you ten percent on your on your Bitcoin because first of all, that you know they're not gonna make the where they're gonna get their extra you know ten percent on top of the like increase that Bitcoin gonna go to. 
So you give your Bitcoin for that 2% yield. You, you, you don't have to count on that Bitcoin again. Because there's a, at least 70% chance that you lose it. I'm not ready to take that risk. Right? The risk is at 75, 70, 75% that you lose it all. I don't want to lose my money. That's what, that was the safety point. The point is, we want to keep our Bitcoin. We don't want to give it to the bank at a risk just because we want to uh, be smarter. We want to look smart. No, that's stupid. I just, I, it's like Celsius, right? There's no difference between Celsius and, and JP Morgan. They are all both the same. They are both insolvent, right? The just the only difference is that uh, the fair. There's no difference between um, JP Morgan and Celsius. The only difference is JP Morgan is way bigger, and they have they own the federal government, right? The federal government is the, the federal reserve. Sorry, uh, the the federal reserve is. A, a private entity, right? Um, they have shareholders. JP Morgan is one of them. is a bigger shareholder, so they that's why they are not allowed to be to fail. They are not allowed to fail. So it's a backdoor thing. It's a, it's a, it's a really um, a Ponzi scheme, right? They're gonna print money, right, to socialize the losses. When, when JP Morgan make money. When they make money, they keep it for themselves. But when they lose money, if they're gonna fail, uh, the federal government, the federal reserve, gonna print as much as money they need to protect them, right? To socialize the losses, and then who pays that? Who pays is the taxpayers, right? The the middle class, the people who save in in that currency, and people who. Um, uh, who believe in that money, right? Uh, in the people who get paid in that currency that pay for uh, for the cost. So that's a problem here, you know? Like, it's not risk-free. There's a, there's, a, there's a risk attached to it because there's custodial, there's a, a custodial risk, right? So you're going to lose it at some point. Anyways, guys, I'll see you again in the next talk.